My question is, when working on the first onset and following through your example, how do I know if I am moving up the scale correctly? Is it just practice um, just to get progressively higher pitch as I work on up the scale? Anyway, I may eventually book a few lessons with you, Robert. Do you have people that can't sing and you coax it out of them as well? Um, anyway, sorry for the silly question. Two questions in here actually. One is, how do I know I'm going up a scale when I'm training? And the other one is, do I offer lessons to people to coax them to become better? Well, the, uh, the answer to these questions are sort of obvious, aren't they? I mean, uh, I, 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 how, do you, how do you know when you're training if you're going up a scale? Well, um, in the training content, there's pre-recorded scales, all right? And and what and what you want to do is you're supposed to be matching your voice to the notes of the scale. So if you feel like you're matching the notes in the scale, then you're following the scale. So when you're following the scale, you're you're following the scale. Um, and if you're not, it's sort of obvious because it sounds there's. There's a dissonance in the sound. When you're out of pitch, you, you, can, you, you can kind of tell. Um, this is another reason why you want to train the onsets. Onsets work out the special motor skills um, in, in all of that that we spoke about before. But the onsets also um, help you if you're a raw beginner. And that damn piece of hair. And that raw beginner, um, the onsets will help you to tune to the note. You poke a note and you ah uh, and you tune to it. Okay. One thing that I might might recommend is that when you're standing by your keyboard and you're doing and you're and you're working on your onsets in the training program, that you also have a tuning software available. Okay. So get download a tuning app to your phone or to your iPad, and 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 use it. Use it to tune your voice. And I've done that right here in this studio with students. We we just we, we get a good old fashioned kind of guitar tuning app with a you know it has a little meter. The note you're trying to get is in the middle, and it sort of you know you're you're a little flat, you're a little sharp, you're a little flat, and you just try to tune it. That's a really good idea for some beginners that are trying to get a feel for am I matching the note or not. Now to some of you, that might sound unusual. How do you know? I mean, if you're matching the note, you know it. I mean, how do you not know that you're matching the note? Um, as a teacher, I can tell you there are some people who don't. They don't know that they're actually singing on the note or not singing on the note. Okay, and so some folks need to develop their their neurolinguistics, their their ear. Uh, Whatever in the neural system is required to be able to to be able to recognize, oh, I'm on the right note now. It takes practice. Okay, some people. So, anyways, that's my advice to you, Sim, is that you that you work on the onsets one note at a time. Okay, and there's a recorded file that allows you to do that that I created that's provided for you in the program, or you can just stand by a keyboard and do it yourself. But also get a tuning app. Get an app that, that, that tells you if you're flat or sharp. Okay? All right. We got next. Oh, uh, and then I have a question to you. Do you have many people that can't sing, but you can coax it out of them? Of course. That's what I do for a living. I mean, any voice coach can help somebody learn to sing better if, if they're a good coach. That's what we do. I mean, that's that's that's... I help people learn to train, which then helps them learn how to sing better. That's 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 my job. That's what I get paid for. That's how we're paying for the. That's what the book and everything is all about. All right. So if if I wasn't able to take people that can't sing and I wasn't able to coax it out of them, we wouldn't be having this conversation. There wouldn't be a Facebook group. There wouldn't be a laptop on this stand. I would be digging a ditch somewhere. Okay. Nothing wrong with digging ditches. I've done it before. All right, so let's move on. 